Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Rum with Romy. So today we're at the beautiful Souk Regional Park because you know, Dom and I, you know, we just got a new, a new whip. So we decided to just, you know, start touring and start doing and exploring things that we weren't able to when we didn't have a car. So Souk Regional Park is actually in Souk, BC. So it's about 50 minutes from where we live in Victoria. It's supposed to be a really, really nice park. They're supposed to have these really cool ponds that you can swim in. And a lot of people come here usually during the summer months because it's still a little bit quite chilly here. But we're just gonna explore today and see what's out here. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> make a noise the voice Wait, the what it just it never ends it never ends we always got to stay on guard for bears cougars and this time there are wolves involved so the good thing is that it's daytime and usually wolves and cougars do not like to come out in the daytime but bears are another story so we don't have food thank god um we're not going to be here for too long. We're probably just going to walk a little bit, but we really want to see the potholes and the areas where people can swim. And then I'm going to look at the map. Oh, the map is just the map of the city, but not but of the park. This is the one of the park. Okay, so we're going to try to go in and out, trying, trying to have no wildlife encounters. Yeah, we're going to stay on the designated trails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I think that's best. Yeah. I really don't think that we're going to see. I don't think so either. Usually, like, they're hidden. I don't think they come out except for at nighttime, if right? If we are unlucky, then... <laughs> <laughs> if you're unlucky, I'm out. <laughs> I ain't staying. I'm sorry. I love you, honey. You're the love of my life, but I'm out. I'm out of there. I don't know how fast I'm going to be running. But there are a lot of people here, so we're not too worried or concerned. Mm -hmm. Why are you picking up a stick, honey? You said there are low chances of seeing cougars and bears. <laughs> Hold on, let's get off the road because I think they're walking too. Hold on. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. We're so high. Oh, wow. Look at this. Whoa. Do you want me to take a photo of this? No, because you, if you fall in that, I can't save you. No, you're going to sit over there. No, hell no. No, no, no. Can you take a free photo of me? No, honey, no. No, no, no. See no. over there, honey. <sighs> you're not here. You're not here. And then, can you take a photo of me? Look at your brother-in-law right now. Look at this. Look at this man. Right here. y'all i'm not that adventurous okay as adventurous as i seem or i appear i am not adventurous i do not want to go down there that is a bit hold on i hope you guys can see it that's a bit too far for me um i don't know i'm i'm, I'm not into it but dom dom wants to sit there and take pictures so he better than me y'all he better than me so i lied i'm here now <laughs> <laughs> Dom convinced me to go to the bottom. He's ancient, not dangerous. But at he, all. like, I'm no. He, you were over there. I'm not that adventurous to be over there. But I'll stay here. Here is okay. I'm yeah. okay here. I feel we, safe here. We're gonna take a selfie. Okay, we're gonna take our, our. You'll see this on the thumbnail. But here, let me show y'all the view from here. And then water is coming down. Oh, yeah, that was so nice.
it's getting warm now and the park i don't know i thought i was gonna see like more potholes like actual like little round pools of water i think that we just have to walk a little further but we're gonna see because i'm not seeing the small round pools and i saw it online so it should be here somewhere but in any case it's very nice out here very warm very beautiful i actually shouldn't have bought this jacket because i don't need it but it's really nice out here one of the biggest advantages of being in bc is being surrounded by nature I try to take advantage of being around nature being in nature even though there's bears and cougars and whatnot but you know we gotta learn how to get along and all but yeah it's just it's so beautiful here so we're gonna keep walking up this way and hopefully i can see the the round pools that people usually swim in found a place to sit and we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful beach view it's a very very calm here yeah nothing to worry about just a very calm no wave just a very quiet and yeah. america is next to us america washington is right there <laughs> where those mountains are so I think Dom's always like so shocked at how close America is to Canada. <laughs> yeah, We're literally really right next door, yeah. Over there. Actually, I don't know if many of you know, but where we live on um, Vancouver Island is actually really close to the US. I think it's the closest um, border on this side. So that's why when we look over here, it's so close, literally like, I could probably take a boat and get to America within like half an hour. Oh no, yeah, maybe 10 minutes, 15 10 minutes? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I, I, I said half an hour because I'm slow, but yeah, it's super close. Like depending on the type of boat you have, you could probably kayak for like half an hour into 10 minutes. Kayak means, uh, yeah. Yeah, half an hour. But if you took like a regular ship, it'd probably take like maybe 10, 15 minutes. It's not a good idea to do that, but. And actually Vancouver Island is right at the, um, the line of demarcation. So the separation between the US and Canada out west. So that's why we're pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> we we didn't hit the summer yet, but if the weather is already look like already like this, then mm -hmm. we can be exciting about summer. Here. Yeah, it's gonna be my second summer here, but Dom's first summer. So how was your first winter, and how are you liking spring right now? 
Yeah, the winter was totally just depressed, just depressed country. You feel like uh, some another plant is not us. Like <laughs> you, something is covered on the sky, and then I can't see any some sun or something like that. Yeah, it's because like it would get dark so early, so like it'd be like three o'clock, and then it'd already be oh, like yeah. pitch black here. <laughs> see, see. Yeah. After four fifty nine p.m., just change the five everything's dark and korea doesn't have daylight savings time so he had to adjust to that to the clock you know winding an hour back but we have yeah no you guys don't have to say daylight savings time no you don't we you, have. you change your time no you yeah, don't we change the time. really i never realized it i don't think we so change. no you don't because that was one of the first things i noticed i'm like yeah i don't change times here no, maybe not they don't because i remember when i was teaching i was so upset because i was like dang i want to catch my extra hour of sleep but here like it gets really dark in the winter but the spring and the summer and the fall it's breathtaking so i'm glad that dom is here to finally witness what i witnessed last year so it's very calm yeah definitely this beach is not like a sand beach and you can really enjoy swimming and wave but this is a very calm beach. The thing is, we're surrounded by water, so we're surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, but it's a lot colder than the Atlantic Ocean, so mm. a lot of the beaches aren't really swimmable unless you like to take cold showers <laughs> or cold baths. I wouldn't recommend swimming here. However, there are lakes and there are like pools of water like we showed you guys earlier where you can kind of take a dip and get that same feeling. If you guys went to the uh, New Australia and New Zealand, definitely you guys know about the, some beach bites. Even like, Florida. It's very big wave. Yeah, Florida too. Big wave, surfing people over there. Mm -hmm. And you know, you really can enjoy the swimming over there. A lot of the, some beach activity mm -hmm. with the sand. Yeah. In here, everything mm -hmm. is like a rock beach. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> no wave at all. And the deep ocean is very in, in front of us. Literally, if you're gonna go 10 meters over there, then you're gonna drain to really deeply. So I love more Australian vibe of the sandy beaches. To swim. Personally, yeah, personally. Yeah. That looks more beautiful. But this beach makes me very, very calm and very comfortable. Yeah. And really peaceful here. Yeah, the beach vibe here is just, just calming. It's yeah. just it's beautiful. And also, weather is perfect. Yeah. And we really can enjoy the some American mountain view. <laughs> and the sun as well. So we get a lot of vitamin D and yeah, yeah just beautiful. Just enjoy and our time. Some, some people definitely had a fire. Walking yeah, they there. do bonfires <laughs> here too. It, it must be very fun. There's yeah. a lot of camping here too. We're probably going to try camping definitely, in the summer. I, I really love this one because of we, it's, it's not a sand beach. Yeah. It's a rock beach, so it's more easy to just make the fire like that easily mm. with the, some wind, the, the wind break mm -hmm. and then you're going to enjoy the, some fire on yeah. the night time. Like a bonfire. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one day. Make it, making the some, you know, the measurement low. Or oh, s'mores. Like <laughs> yeah. And then enjoy some calm, nice view. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, and also this way is just be the the sunset view mm -hmm. so i think if we're gonna stay here at night time it's gonna be sun down go oh down on that there. way sun goes down over there but we're not staying at night because these roads are hella dark in the, on this island no light at all. there are the roads are so dark and there are deer that just like to jump <laughs> across so. and yeah so people yeah. say uh the we can if we are lucky, we can see the dolphin here. Yeah, they have whales and dolphins here, so hopefully, so really yeah, maybe we will see them. I to focus on some outside view, but... Yeah. I think they come in May, though. I've heard that they come out in May, June, like, oh, when they had, they come out with the pods, yeah. With that, I think that's when they come out and you can see them. You can see today? Probably not, but we'll we'll do a lot of activities. I, like yeah, we're we're planning on doing a lot of really nice recreational activities, especially towards the spring summer months. There's one of so. the birds over there. <laughs> I don't care about no birds. I want to see whales.
we've arrived at our third destination. Please don't mind the hair. Today was just, it was very windy. So yeah, just leave it alone. So we're in Colwood right now. And Dom and I actually want to look at houses here because we're interested in the real estate in this area. Everything is new here. Everything is brand new. Brand new and just they still, the many business people just try to invest in this area. Yeah, so it's about maybe 20 to 20 to 25 minutes from where we live. Yes. Yeah, about 20 to 25 minutes where we live. It's very suburban. Um, where we live is good for now, but eventually we do want to have our own house um, and kind of have some place to call home and a location where we can kind of stay settled, right? Because, you know, apartment hopping and stuff like that's not... We too old for that, y'all. We tired. We tired of doing that. We've been to this area a few times, but the more we come, the more we love it. And we've tried to look at other areas where, you know, maybe housing was a little cheaper because it's a little expensive here, but nothing compares to this. So we're just going to go and probably tour and show you guys what it kind of looks like. But y'all, look at this. This is the new 2024 electric Hummer. Look at that. Now, this is the kind of area that we're dealing with. We got Audis here. So, yeah, it's a bit out of our price point, but we're trying our best to make it happen. So, here would be the view that you can see. And from here, you could see, like, it's kind of. Here, yeah. Developing. They're developing condos and townhouses here. So we're, we're kind of looking around, shopping around and seeing what works for us. And we clearly can see the downtown. Downtown is where? Over there, that, right? That is the downtown over there. Yeah, over here. That's downtown Victoria. Yeah. yeah. But we can't see behind that, though. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's so nice. Even out here, it's like, wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. Yeah. I want to know, that, what is that mountain? I don't know. Is that Olympic Mountain? I'm Olympic pretty sure. Mountain is over there. So I don't know which mountain that That's is. That's a Canada mountain. Oh, uh, we'd have to check and see maybe yeah, in our map. Isn't the, the this is the mountain he's talking about. Is it Whistler? I have no no Whistler's in Vancouver, like yeah, near so Vancouver. Vancouver. And another positive is that everyone is so friendly here. So so far, I don't know y'all, man. I'm I'm really loving Colwood. So yeah, I think it'll be a great. It's Great out of location. the budget totally. It's very expensive. For here. now. For now. Especially the house prices are out of the budget. House prices are not even like... budget. We actually don't have a money. <laughs> so, I think so, no. For so, now. For now. We're gonna but we just dream existence. about just dream about well we, it's impossible to buy the house. No at, at this moment. At, at this, this moment. moment. At this moment. I would say give us another two years, to three in few years, years. Maybe two to three years. Three years is just a lucky few years. <laughs>
so i just made it back home and i wanted to kind of show you guys what i ended up buying at the bookstore and lululemon and then close this video out so i ended up buying this book called adhd 2.0 and one of my friends recommended it uh, because I definitely am very extremely distracted. Even though I haven't been diagnosed with ADHD, I know that I have some form of it and I am on, I gotta be on the spectrum. I get distracted so easily and it's just a good way of navigating it and trying to have better methods because I do believe that it does affect my communication skills. And again, you know, I'm trying to improve my communication skills in my marriage so we'll definitely be reading that on top of the other books that i have it's been hard being consistent with reading because i have so many things that i do on a daily and weekly basis but i'm going to definitely make this a priority and the second thing i ended up buying was this lululemon bag this little bag right here uh reason that i bought it is because we needed a lunch bag. I actually got this for Dom because he can put his meals in there when we go out and I can put my meals in there and that way we don't have to like keep it in like, I don't know, like plastic bags or you know those little shopping bags. It's just more durable, it's nicer and it wasn't too bad. It's pretty good material. So we're gonna be excited to use that when we go on our little trips, our weekend trips. So, on that note, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of your beautiful selves and bye.